Okay, and we are live. I warn you in advance, ladies and gents, today's video is going to be really weird. And I mean really, really weird. I've been down the rabbit hole today. I, but, but let me, I'll get into why this is going to be so weird in a moment. I was going to talk about some finance, Federal Reserve, stuff like that. And I thought, no, I've got to, <laughs> I've just got to cover this weird event that is due to happen on April 8th. It is just so bizarre that I don't even know where to start with all of the things that are going to be happening on April 8th, 2024, so just in a couple of weeks' time, in the USA. You've got disaster management, command centers, National Guard being deployed, um, issues with aircraft, they're saying that your cell phones, your mobile phones, will potentially not work. Your credit cards, debit cards will not work. Only cash will be able to transact potentially in these certain states. It is the, the most bizarre thing. And that's why I've been down the rabbit hole, because the more I started to research, the more it started pulling me off in different directions. So what am I talking about? I am talking about, I know this is, this is weird one. I'm talking about this, the US solar eclipse on Monday the 8th, 2024. This is, I don't even know where to start with all this, but by the way, the next one is not until 2078. So probably past a lot of our lifetimes. There's all the officials are saying, I'm scared as hell of what might happen on this day and and and, and it do, none of this makes any sense i've got to just say none of this makes any sense so we've got everything from cults and doomsday cults and spaceships <laughs> aliens oh gosh to all sorts of other different faiths um, christians jews uh, in islam all these other faiths They've, they've all got these, you know, there's all these different plans for this day. It, it, it's so strange. I'm not even sure where to begin with all of this. But they're saying that there's going to be issues with 911 responses, the interruptions or lack of service for cell phones, card machines not working, credit cards and debit cards. It, this, this doesn't really make any sense. And it makes me wonder what exactly is going on? And then they've got pictures of these massive command centers. I mean, this is just an eclipse. It's a, it's a solar eclipse. It's going to last for a few minutes, what, three or four minutes, and then it's gone. But they're making it into this massive, massive event. <laughs> I told you this was going to be a weird, weird video. Look at all these command centers with disaster management for the event. You know, I remember back when I was, I'm not sure exactly how old I was, but I think it was sort of 1999 in the UK, and I saw a solar eclipse. I, I, I still vividly remember every last detail of that solar eclipse. And I remember that I, I, I'd made these little glasses, I'd cut out these cardboard glasses, and you just got a pin, you just pricked a pinhole in the middle, and that's how you could look up. Obviously, you know me, I took the glasses off and, you know, they said you'd go blind if you look at it without the glasses on, you know, the schools and all that sort of stuff. But that's another thing, they're going to be cancelling schools on this day because of the risk and the, the risk of danger and all this other stuff. I'm wondering if there's something else going on on this day. That's what I'm, I'm wondering, if there might be something else happening because you know when you ever have these big events, there's usually things that happen behind the scenes. We know this, this isn't some sort of, you know, theory. We, we know that this is what happens with governments and organizations and, you know, even nefarious groups. They use events in order to do certain things. So I'm wondering, why would credit card machines, why would your credit debit card not work on this day? Why would... Uh, your cell phone not work. They're saying, oh, it might be it's because everyone will be on their phone calling to talk about, you know, the, um, the no, <laughs> no. What? 
And anyway, why would the why would you be trying? Hold on, wait. I've just I've just thought this through. Why would you be trying to spend money on a card? during the eclipse like you're, you're looking wow look at this wonder oh my goodness Who, who's going to be on their card making a transaction <laughs> i've only just thought about this now as i'm talking about it you know the more i think through it and this is where i've been down the rabbit hole today the more strange it gets and i was reading and watching some videos from um, some pastors and reverence and preachers and and this was quite interesting actually for, for any of you who like prophecy and biblical prophecy and the book of revelations there's some really interesting stuff on this i'll probably get into that at the end for those of you that are not interested in that stuff but i thought this was really interesting i started looking into it going yeah okay i've heard all this before i started looking into it i went ah actually that <laughs> that is quite strange ah nineveh okay that's quite strange jonah okay that that's strange. There's about 20 different things all converging on this same uh, event. I was like, oh, okay, that's it. I'll share this with, the, with everyone as well. It's a bit of an interesting one. But they've got, oh, typical. Typical, they throw the weather on just as I'm trying to, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, cell phone service disruptions. They're talking about how you're not going to be able to make calls or use your phone. Why? Can someone explain why you couldn't, make a phone call or, or use your phone it doesn't make any sense they're going to be closing all of these schools and these are where the the states that have been warned these are emergency warnings by the way they're not just normal warnings they're emergency warnings and um, i think they're called state emergency declarations that have been put out uh, techless uh, texas oklahoma you've got indiana you've got ohio and there's going to be more, and they're deploying the National Guard. It says that the numbers are staggering in terms of deployment, but uh, I'm not sure if the numbers are on here, the amount of National Guard that are going to be deployed. And I started thinking about another thing with all of this that I thought was a little bit, a bit strange. Have you ever thought about, and I've only thought about this now, have you ever thought, people are laughing like, what is Neil talking about in this video? This is not normal. Have you ever thought about the size of the moon? and the size of the sun. I know, I was thinking through this stuff today and I thought, how is it that the moon is exactly 400 times smaller than the sun and is exactly 400 times away distance? So it perfectly aligns. Don't you think that is just mind blowing that that is happening at this exact period of time that we're alive? Because obviously in the past, I think the sun would have been slightly bigger and in the future will be slightly so You know, it's like, all this stuff doesn't really make sense. This was one that made me laugh. I was trying to look up the, um, the statistics and the odds on the moon and the sun being this size. Uh, you know, it, it makes me laugh when people say it's a coincidence. Really? You think all of this is a coincidence? Perfectly. But this image made me laugh. They showed the ISS, <laughs> the ISS, International Space Station, and how it, you know, what it looks like when it goes across the moon. So apparently this is what it looks like. <laughs> Some of you, if you know, you know why I'm laughing. This is it going across the sun. Look at that. Does that look anything like that image there? <laughs> this is from NASA. NASA, which is not even a real, it's not even a space agency, by the way, if you look into it properly. This is not the same image. They're completely different. And even if you take into account the distance and the blur, it's a completely different shape. <laughs> Oh gosh. So, okay, why is this big panic? Exactly how dark does it get then? That's what I was trying to think about. How dark does it get on these, on uh, during a solar eclipse? Well, why does it keep trying to show me this video? Eva cast it. Anyway, this is how dark it gets. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's a solar eclipse. This is what the big emergency is over. It doesn't, it doesn't get much darker than that. Now, here's where it gets strange with all of the um, prophecy stuff that I've been reading about today. So you've got the, the line where it goes across the US and it shows the different, the different um, here we go. This is 2017, the direction for 2017. This, was, this is the 8th of April, 2024. And then you have 1970. Okay, so this is why you've got a lot of 
people, people, religious um, leaders talking about this because this was the 1970 pathway. You then had, and look at the direction of it, you then had the 2017, so it forms a cross. And then the 2024 next week forms this new line. I'll show you why everyone's talking about this in a moment. Um, and it was, hold on, let me see if I can just pull this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Okay, but, but this is basically what it's about. Okay, so in, in Revelations, basically, you've got the English Standard Version or the New International Version. It is talking about these giant earthquakes, okay, and the sun becoming black as sackcloth, moon, uh, full moon became like blood, right? So you have that. You also had with Jonah, sorry, my, my biblical knowledge on Revelations is lacking, um, but you also have the the crossover. Here we go. So you got the Aleph and the Tab. So that's the beginning and the end. Now, this is what I should have put these together, actually. So this is why people are talking about this a lot. They're talking about this line. So there's your crossover. OK, so there's your beginning. And then the final one is there. And that's the ending. So this is why people are talking about this so much. And everyone's, you know, getting all hyped up over it. And this is another reason that the government, maybe they're not saying that they're having all these command centers. And it's so strange. And remember, the, the, the Mayan civilization had all of this as well. They had this scientific knowledge that was way advanced for their time period. They even predicted, I think it was the 19, yeah, it was the 1991 solar eclipse within a day of its occurrence. So there's a lot of strange stuff behind all of this, uh, a lot of unusual stuff. And then you've got all of these FAA warnings for travel disruptions. Some of the flights are not going to be taking off. Some of them are going to be delaying. Why exactly? I, I don't know. Can someone, you know, again, I just think through stuff logically. If you're a plane and you're flying and there's a solar eclipse, why would that affect the navigation system, which is what they're saying? A lot of the navigation systems are going to be going down. <clears throat> Why? Why would the navigate? I mean, we fly through the night all the time, planes do. Unless, so something's potentially happening there. I, I don't know enough about navigation. If you do, drop a, a comment. So there's something to do with the navigation systems going down on planes as well. They've got all of these procedures. Look, this is the FAA.gov. They're bringing in all these special procedures for the eclipse. And then this was interesting as well. These are the major intervals between the eclipses. So 465 years here, uh, Atlanta, 300 years. You got one, I think it's LA. Yeah, 1,565 years. So it's going to be 1724, 70, uh, 3,290 before the next solar eclipse in LA. I mean, this is really, really strange stuff. Was this okay? And then we get into all the alternate, the sort of occult, and you've got your uh, cults and things like that. There's all these. I won't go through all the predictions. Some of them are pretty nasty stuff. But they're saying that <laughs> this is one cult that's saying the Yellowstone super volcano is going to erupt during the event, and that's why there's all the national guard and there's the commands. <laughs> there's some there's some strange stuff. And then you had um, Baba Vanga. Uh, who is um, definitely not from the side of uh, prophecy that I, I've ever seen, <laughs> that I look at. But she talks about all these events that are going to be happening this year. And people often try and interpret all this and, and come up with their theories as to what it is. But there's all sorts of things around uh, March time, or sorry, March to April time. So this is, this is very unusual. And then talking about these cyber attacks, there's going to be some massive cyber attack, critical infrastructure. Um, and then there's, um, again, they've put this attempt on Putin, but actually it didn't say that it was just an attempt on a world leader. Some people like to add, add stuff to all this stuff. But yeah, there's all these, there's all these things. Um, I was reading about in Israel, some of the things that are happening there and what they're talking about. 
they're calling it an omen that what's happening next week is an omen yeah that's probably enough of the the weird <laughs> the we the weirdness of this but i was just i thought today because i went down the rabbit hole with this so much reading it and watching videos i thought no, I've got to make a video about this. Even if, <laughs> even if people think this is a strange video Neil's making, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make this video today because it is strange, and also it links into what we've been talking about: all the cyber attacks and grid down and infrastructure, but also cell phones going down, payment systems going down, and they and they're going to be down for the period of these few minutes. That is very suspicious to me as well. So if you're wondering what the connection is with the stuff I normally talk about, that's the connection. But do you really need the National Guard on the streets and in big command centers, thousands of people in these emergency command centers? I don't think so. I think it's very strange. I'll leave it at that. Please drop a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this because I'm really interested in this now. We'll be reading through the comments today. So drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. God bless you all.